Hi, good morning. We're so excited to be here at RE Plus Northern California, hosted here in our great capital of Sacramento. Um, I'm here with the rest of the Canadian Solar crew. We're featuring today our flexible, expandable EPQ product. Uh, this product is award-winning and it's going to rock the residential energy storage sector. Uh, superb for tackling all the challenges that now most homeowners are going to face in the independently owned utilities uh, under NEM 3.0 that's going to come to the state here uh, in the middle of April. Hello everyone, I'm Dave Gould from Canadian Solar. I am a tier two tech support for the EP Cube, our residential energy storage system. Right now you're seeing that the EP Cube is just two products. It's got a battery and hybrid inverter on top, and then this is the uh, PMS battery management system called the Gateway. So on the bottom, we have module level uh, battery, which are 3.3 kilowatt hours per battery module. They each weigh around 70 pounds. And you could start off at three stacked and go up to six. And that is either 10 kilowatt hours or up to 20 kilowatt hours. On top is a 7.6 kilowatt inverter where you could put up to four PV DC strings and your DC to AC ratio is two to one. So you could put up to 15 kilowatt of solar for that just one hybrid inverter. And you could stack multiple hybrid inverters and batteries up to six. So you could start off as low as 10 kilowatt hours up to 120 kilowatt hours. So you have a lot of capacity option and options. And here, for your multiple stack, you only have one gateway, one battery management system. You have connections from the grid here. Your automatic transfer switch is up there. And then you have a 200 amp bus bar right here. This is your hybrid inverter breaker for this guy. It's 40 amps. And if you have multiple batteries in parallel, you'd put your other hybrid inverter battery breakers up here. This is the option if you wanted to put a EV charger, a AC coupled PV, so we can do DC coupled PV and we can do AC coupled PV. And then on the left side, the contact point would be an option for a generator. This is our communication board and we have the option of doing SIM card or Wi-Fi connection. And any modifications with set up the system, we have a Bluetooth connection, which the installer would uh, configure once he connects to the Gateway's Bluetooth. 